use descriptive statistics to describe our variables. And whether our variables are categorical or continuous, we will most likely describe them using frequency. Therefore, we need to talk about the types of frequency that we could calculate for our data. We are going to create frequency distributions. Well, let's unpack what I mean by frequency distributions. Frequency is a calculation of how often a score occurs in a distribution. And distribution is a general name for any organized set of data. Therefore, a frequency distribution is an organized set of frequencies telling us how often particular scores occur in our data set. Let's take a look. In this frequency table, we see in our very first column labeled toy, all of the categories that exist in our data set. We have asked 50 dogs, what is your favorite dog toy? And there were five general answers, stuffed monkey, rope bone, chirpy bird, chew toy, and tennis ball. The second column labeled N tells us how many dogs indicated that this was their favorite toy. This is a total number out of 50. Anytime we have an individual value and a total value, we can use division to create a percentage. And so in our third column with the percent sign, we see the relative frequency or the percentage frequency of how many dogs in our data set chose this particular toy as their favorite. When we calculate frequencies, there are two questions that we have about our data. Number one, how many scores do we have? In our previous example, we asked 50 dogs about their preference for favorite toy. Now question number two is, how often does each score occur in the data? How many dogs chose a particular toy as their favorite? We have specific statistical notation that we use for answering each of these questions. The first question of how many is answered by the value n, the total number of scores. n is the notation for sample size. It tells us how many scores or participants existed within our data set. For example, we conduct a survey and we ask 32 people their preference on a specific question that could be answered yes or no. We would describe our total number of scores as capital N equals 32. In a different example, we have 24 poker chips. The capital N equals 24 tells us how many poker chips exist in our data. The second question of how often a particular score occurs is answered with F. F is the notation for frequency or how often a particular score occurs. Of our 32 people, 20 answered yes. So the frequency for yes in our data set was 20, leaving the frequency of no as 12. And you see the total number of answers, 20 plus 12 will always add up to our capital N, how many scores are in our data set. It adds up to the sample size. Now sometimes, or often, you will see frequency described with a lowercase n, capital N representing the total, and lowercase n representing subsets. Returning to our example with the poker chips, we have 14 red poker chips, seven blue poker chips, and three green poker chips. The N for red is 14, lowercase n for blue is seven, lowercase n for green is three. Add them all up and we have an uppercase N of 24. If we're going to use frequency this often, we need to know what types of frequency can we compute.